Well, good afternoon and welcome to the Merger Network. Where else can you get all the information that you could possibly need, want, or ignore? Yes, once again, it's on the Merger Network. Well, breaking news. The Merger Network is complete. Yes, you heard me right. It is complete, and that is great news. But with that comes a few questions. First of all, let me say, this has been a long road, uh, and I must admit that mistakes were made along the way, but we learn from them. Certainly, there are things that I wish I could go back and do all over again. Uh, but as I've heard over and over, it is what it is. Next, I'm sure that many of you have heard, unless, of course, you've been living under a rock, out of the country, or maybe just couldn't wedge yourself off the couch after binge-watching Netflix for the last 12 weeks or so. Look, I know that Tiger King was interesting, but it wasn't that interesting. Or maybe it was. And in that case, I expect to get a call from you about pastoral counseling real soon. Anyway, we, we have announced our new name. Now, I know that uh, we did things a little backwards because we had a charge conference last night to officially vote on the name, but we announced on Sunday. Yeah, it's one of the things that I would like to do over. Oh, well, no mulligans here. Well, last, uh, well, we announced last Sunday that our new name will be Journey of Hope. And this is the logo here. Now, let me explain just a little bit behind the logo so that you have a little better understanding of what went into this, uh, to this design. You will notice that there are three rings around those mountainy looking things. Uh, the three rings represent the Trinity, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. God is always with us, surrounding us with his love. Therefore, we thought it would be good to symbolize this with the rings surrounding the peaks. Now, the peaks. Some will say that these remind us of a journey that we are on in this life. Sometimes there are mountain peaks, while at other times we find ourselves in the valleys. There are also days when we find ourselves on paths somewhere in between. Nothing wrong with that, and that's a good visual, but I want to offer you another thought. Within this merger, we celebrated the coming together of Wesley and Epworth churches, but really, there was a third church involved in this congregation as this congregation was connected with both of us as well. That church was Grace, UMC. So to remember Grace, we have three peaks shown in the circle. The peaks of Grace, Wesley, and Epworth churches. There you have it. Journey of Hope, a United Methodist community. Now, a question that has come up more than once. Pastor, what what who do we write our offering checks to? Should we, should we write them to Journey of Hope? Uh, well, the answer that I offer you uh, is that because the name change has not been officially made with the state of Illinois, we can't legally change the name on the bank account. Therefore, if you are writing checks uh, and mailing those in for our offerings on Sundays, they should be made out to Epworth. Uh, once we know the name has been changed and we receive the needed numbers, we can change the name on our accounts. And we will certainly let you know when that has been completed so that you can begin writing Journey of Hope. Now, for those of you who are using our online platform uh, and electronic funds transfers or EFTs, nothing will change. The bank account number will not change. So you will not have to change anything on your records other than changing the name in your bank register. If that, of course, is still you use one. Well, something else that is new. This week, you received your new journal. The Connections newsletter has been given a facelift and a new name. Uh, and since we are on a journey, we should always carry kind of our field journal with us. So here is what you'll here is where you're going to find all the information you need about upcoming events, celebrations, prayer list, and even that letter from your pastor that you never read. Oh, oh wait, you do? Oh, okay, great. I bet he really appreciates that. Well, the weekly update also changed to our weekly e-news. This will have specific information for the following week, so you can be sure to read it before you swipe left and delete it. For those of you who are not receiving this weekly email, be sure to call the office and talk to Robin or Gwen and get your names added to that list so that you can receive that every single week. One of the items in the weekly e-news this week focused on an event for Father's Day. What does a father want more than anything else in the world? A jet ski. Well, no. Wait. A new grill. 
No, I still don't think that's quite right. Oh, I know. Season tickets to the Cubs. Oh, oh, wait. They're not even playing. <laughs> uh, now I remember. A father wants something special for this day. A pie. Now, you can order pies from fa for Father's Day and support the mission to Spirit Lake, North Dakota. The pies are $20 each or two for $30. There's even a special rate for purchasing even more. This way, you can try all the flavors. Don't worry, this isn't Baskin Robbins 31 flavors. However, the flavors are good. And if you want to buy the pastor a pie, I'm sure he wouldn't mind. Well, they have apple, cherry, and yes, death by chocolate. Orders are being taken now and by our mission team, and you can even order them online through the weekly e-news. Now, the moment that you've been waiting for. It's our staff spotlight of the week. This week, we turn our focus to Donna Bach. Now, if you've been watching, you know that I ask about the same questions so that we can get to know each other a little better, especially in this time of solitary confinement. Well, no, actually, it's our months-long course on becoming monks. Well, anyway, we're, we're sheltering in place, so we don't get a chance to talk with each other that much. So here's the scoop on Donna. She likes the color orange. Yep, that's a first for me. But then again, we all have our favorite things, don't we? Well, her favorite movie, I really got to give it to her on this one. I love this movie too. From the, uh, from the pink nightmare to tree haggling to Chinese Christmas dinners, gorgeous lamps, and a furnace beating dad, A Christmas Story is a great movie. Just don't ask my wife. <laughs> she can't stand it when TBS and TNT play this movie for 24 hours straight. A little slice of heaven, you could say. Like a, like a Red Rider carbide action 200-shot range model air rifle. I know, I know. I'll shoot my eye out. But a kid can dream, right? <laughs> well, since Donna is one of our uber-talented musicians, I asked her who her favorite composer was. Sergei Rachmaninoff. Good choice. Wonderful composer, and maybe we'll hear some soon. Well, some of the things she likes to do are reading and baking, embroidering, sewing, and of course, playing the piano and going to concerts and shows. She also has three daughters, Sarah, Margaret, and Nancy, a couple of them living in California and one in West Dundee. Well, I asked her, you know, what she was excited about with the merger, and here's what she told me. I'm excited about worshiping at Journey of Hope meeting new people, and sharing my love of music. Indeed, we look forward to that too. So I want you to know, what are the good things? I know you're wondering, what are the juicy things about Donna? Well, did you know that she escaped this country in 1970, and she was gone for seven weeks? I know, pretty scandalous, right? What was she doing for those seven weeks? Why so long? Was, was she training to be an international spy? I mean, she really likes those Russian composers. Maybe there's something there. I'm just saying. Well, actually, she's, she's really no spy. And she really didn't escape. Although, as a teacher in 1970, she might have felt like she needed to. However, she and another teacher friend did board the Queen Elizabeth II and visited 10 European countries during seven weeks of traveling. I bet that was a trip well worth remembering. Well, welcome aboard, Donna. <laughs> well, that's all I got for now. And so I hope that you will continue to tune into the Merger Network as we share more stuff about other ministry opportunities and staff, uh, things that we are planning uh, for our future. I hope that you're going to continue on our journey of hope through all of this. God is so good. And so, be sure to like and comment on this video. Also, be sure to subscribe by, by pressing that little button, the one that I keep pointing to down there. Press on that button so that you can get all the updated Merger Network videos as soon as they are released. Great to have you with us on this episode of the Merger Network. We will see you next week.